president, but all up and down the state, there were, there were a handful, literally a handful of Chicana and Chicano students on the various campuses that are going through the same kind of a process. I mean, people look at us, oh yeah, you guys, the old geez. We were a bola de tapados when we started out. <laughs> and we went through that process, we went to these universities, we started looking around and said, where's our people? That, that really was the first basic issue. And then once we started looking at where's our people, what the heck are we studying? And you know, we'll bring more in, we fought to do that, and we said, but what are they going to study? And, you know, it was a long process, and along the way, you know, we the arts were tremendously important. You know, I you know, say artista, menos toco radio. That's 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 I'm glad they invented preset buttons because you know I would be lost without them. Anyway, um, the marches always had musicians up at the front. You know, the pendejo gavachos, like we marched towards the administration building, they locked the doors, put the police in front. I says, Do you think we're gonna march? with our musicians in front and start pedal with you? you Want to sacrifice them? No. no. And now you tell me. <laughs> that was okay, but though we had your back. <laughs> Way back. <laughs> but but you know the the the, the writers, the painters, the, this it was, it was something that came out of the movement, but at the same time was guiding it and expressing it. And it was just, it just was part of what we were doing. So I came here in 70, and we were over in the, the offices were in the administration building, first floor, well, now Baramia. And then the, the, the fac bulk of the faculty in 70 we were upstairs in 505. And downstairs, it was a lobby. That was always an important thing to have, that, that student space right there by us. There was a, a, a mural on a, on a piece of canvas on the wall. And the thing is, they would, the students would also take it down and put up impromptu murals that they would take down and according to the season. I mean, one, one, one Christmas season, there was an a impromptu mural of Las Posadas. He said, okay, it's seasonal. I said, no, but they put members of the faculty and students into key roles. Brother Gerald was, was Joseph. Uh, if you remember, Carlos Navarro and Barrio Boy used to call him. He was a Nino Jesus. And, you know, <laughs> there was a real interesting interaction and a living of, of the culture and the expression of the culture. Then we moved over here to this building. And that involved a serious struggle because they had just broken up the big college of letters and science. They had two more deans and they wanted to put them in 505 in our space. So they said, you guys got to get out. Now, the physical plant was run by Dave Buck and his, his right hand was uh, Reggie Harville. I mean, cabrones racistas. So they said, the deans are more important, so we're going to fix the dean's offices first. We said, no, you got to get us out and find us a new home. First, so we went around and around. It was finally the, the provost, David Benson, resulted and said, yes, they got to get out before the deans could move in. And then there was negotiations, we can talk about some of the time, to get this place right here. We wanted, you know, the, 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 the artistas working in those committees, and they look at all these beautiful walls and say, girls, we were told by Dave Buck, you make one line of the pintura on the, on the walls, and you go to jail for defacing state property. So once again, we go around, see the, uh, the art, art activista has a very different meaning when we're talk, looking at this process here. So the compromise was you can paint inside the rooms, not in the halls. So that's how this came about. Now, in 1976, the, you know, the, the history students up in the tower, um, Se animaron, and they put up a bicentennial history mural in the hall. And we said, wait a minute. You said no paintings in the hall. You know, hay que chingar parejo, right? That's, that's, the, the, that's the, the working definition of democracy. You chingar parejo, right? Okay. Now, their mural up there got painted over. And the history student said, why? They have murals downstairs. The, by that time, we were making slow progress with some of these guys. They said, no, we've got to paint over your murals because yours are ugly. That's what they were told. Well, they painted over them. 
and you know we continue pushing and, and the, the murals start coming up in the different rooms around her but always inside and there was that process and Mecha had a process for a while you had to present the artists had to come here present their designs get approval and it didn't work a lot of times a couple of artists got uh, we thought they painted in the in the lobby and it got painted over and then uh, David Holguin and Tapi, they came in and they threw the thing up there and it, it wasn't approved, but people walked in and said, gee, no, there's no water up on the wall. Look at that, we can't paint over that. So that one stayed. And, and, you know, and this process continued until finally they said, okay, you can paint in the exterior walls. And that one came up over there in the, in the hall. And it got defaced. This one was twice defaced. Once by an artist, Aguitalo, because a clock was put up on that wall. The other one right here, this, this little rincón that nobody pays attention to nowadays was, used to say, homenaje a Che. And the uh, Alpha 66 bunch of gusanos came in and wrote graffiti on it. And it was repainted without the words homenaje a Che. But the star, you know, Corda star is still there. And, you know, many people come and go. It, it, I love teaching in here because People would come in, they get caught up in the color, the vibrancy, the, you know, the motifs, the, the messages. And it was amazing to me, I'd say, turn around, close the doors, turn around, look behind you. You walked in through the mouth of the jaguar, and he said, you know, Penta. He says, look at it. He says, oh, I just thought those teeth were, no, 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 no. The, the mural outside was defaced. Physical plant. Two generations of physical plant directors later came over here. I wanted to leave it defaced. My view is, look people, you have to be reminded of what kind of world we live in. There are people that do not, still do not want us here. And they'll make that known. But they said, no, no, no. So they, they, the artist came in, they did that one, it was redone, and then it was physical plant's idea to put that, um, whatever it is, the, the clear coat, you know, coating over it. Another step, you know that after the earthquake, the art building was destroyed, it had to be torn down. So they put the new one there, now my curb hall. There's a section on the end, big, plain, concrete wall. The dean of the arts said, do you think you could get your students to paint a mural there? I said, outside? So, yeah, <laughs> outside the building, yeah. I said, absolutely. Now, do you want to approve this? No, no, have them do some of the beautiful work they're doing. I said, okay. What's your budget like? I said, well, we were hoping you could get the artist to do it for free. I said, no, 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 no. no. Si nosotros no valorizamos lo nuestro, who will give it worth? So I said, you're going to have to pay. In fact, these walls, I know for sure the one on the, in the corridor, the students did the design and the work, and we paid for the materials. It was a cooperative venture. Even somebody like me who's not an artist, I still had a hand in that, you know? They wanted a big free, I said, do you know what it takes to put a mural outside? Preparing of the surface? I said, I'm not an artist, but I know that the amount of work and materials that's gonna go into that, he said, well, we don't have the budget. They said, you don't get the mural then. <laughs> and that's why that space over there is still a blank concrete <coughs> wall. So, artistas, pay attention. If we can figure out a way to pay for it, hey. And, and, and Irena was part of a mural that is in the art department outside. So, I think it's a great segue to...